Hey guys, what's up? It's Trunks, and welcome to Clash of Saiyans. On today's episode, I am bringing you guys the war recap for week four of the CWL. We had Archer Outlaws up against Fat Cats. We came out with the victory on this one. 71 stars to their 69, 96.16 total destruction to their 92.64. Difference being that we were able to secure more three stars. We had 22 to their 20. Um, we had two Town Hall 10 versus Town Hall 10 triples, which allowed us in the end to go for an 11v11, coming up just short with a 96% on that. So huge shout out to Samek for throwing down that big attack and almost securing us an additional star in the end. Both sides struggled a little bit on the um, 10v11s. It's been super hard since the update um, with the increased damage, but nothing for the Town Hall 10s as far as new troops and stuff. Um, but we were able to still kind of work through it, get through it, and in the end secure the victory. Uh, but this is the first Town Hall 10 versus Town Hall 10 um, three-star that we had. It's going to be Red John coming in. Starts off with a golem to help tank up on the top side. Get some bowlers and witches behind to help create that funnel. And then he's just going to have an easy queen walk on the bottom side um, with a few healers on her. And then he's going to come in with a second golem into the core, a couple Valkyries, and a mass amount of bowlers coming right through that core. He's going to get that rage down as he gets through that first Inferno Tower, then has a heal down to get the bowlers to keep them up so that way they don't die to the Bomber Tower and any of those big bombs that are in that area. Hound, Loon, and the Clan Castle, so Poison is able to easily deal with that balloon, and then the Hound is just going to chase around the bowlers and not do much. Huge Barb King getting all the way to the other side of the map, taking out that second Inferno Tower, and then allowing the bowlers to continue working throughout the base. And then the Queen is just going to continue her walk around this base, picking off all the trash um, as she continues working with those healers, keeping those bowlers that are meeting up with her up to full health. And they're just going to continue that Hound, just continues to stay on the outside working on those bowlers. Uh, but just is not able to do enough damage to keep up with the mass amount of troops that he has remaining for this base. So at this point, you know the three-star is pretty much in the bag. Um, the healers have just gotten everybody back up to full health, and it is done. So that was the first Town Hall 10 versus Town Hall 10 three-star that we had. We will go ahead and jump into the second one that we had. We have his ham coming in on this one. Same style of attack. He's going to start off picking off a few of the buildings around the outside, just getting some of that easy trash out of the way. Gets a couple bowlers down on the bottom side to get some of the camps and stuff out of the way, working with that bowler bounce. Um, and then he's just going to get that queen up at the 3 o'clock area. Healers on her, once again, recognizing that it's not a super hard walk up there. There's not a ton of point defenses, and she'll be able to make it through that area pretty easily. And then on the bottom side at 6, he's coming in once again, with a few witches and bowlers. Um, the skellies will help distract those point defenses while his troops work on taking out some of the trash buildings down there. And then in the core, he's coming with the golems. Jump right into the Inferno Tower compartment. Another hound loon in the clan castle, so the poison once again deals with it. And then he has those rage bowlers coming through with a heal on them, so that way they're able to just work through the big bombs in that area and continue through the base. Barb King once again getting all the way across the base to that second Inferno Tower. And then he's just going to tank while the bowlers end up taking out that Inferno Tower. And at this point, they're working to just pick off the core of the base. And the only thing remaining is just kind of the outside defenses. Queen is still continuing on that walk, making it very easy for her, not needing a rage since the bowlers were able to decimate the core of this base. And then she is just going to continue around this base and eventually finish off the three star. Uh, we've got a witch working on the bottom side as well to help just get some of that stuff out of the way while the queen is working around. The queen will eventually take out the hound and clean it up, but he's got plenty of time to make sure that she is able to get all the way around. And he still has that ability that if he needs it in the end, he'll be able to use it and just go ahead and finish up this base. Uh, but there he goes, second three star for the 10 v 10s. Now we will jump down into some of the Town Hall 9 action. Um, first up, we're going to have A.R. Walker coming in on this base. Just absolutely demolishes it using, still has some battle rams that he's going to use. He has the birthday spell that he's going to use, or the, the mage spell, whatever you want to call it. But drops it, is able to get an air defense and almost take out the queen on this one. Um, not sure if he scouted out this and tested to see how that would work. 
but good eye recognizing that he was able to use those and just take care of this base and at this point he's just going to come in get that queen take out some of the additional parts of this base and then have a big old lalu loon for the backside of the base but just absolutely demolishes it coming in with the special event troops and spells um, not like I said not quite sure how he was able to pull this one off but he just basically absolutely demolishes this base uh, but that Barb King's going to get in there, take out some of the trash around the outside, work on getting into that queen but not be able to get her, and then his queen's just going to now step up and take out the enemy queen. And now he is free um, to go ahead and start the La Loon whenever he wants. Um, but letting that queen just go ahead, take out some of those additional buildings, helping create that funnel to make sure that his balloons do not stray over to that wizard tower and that they go in properly on this one. But like I said, at this point, here comes the La Loon portion. Starts off with the balloons first, since they are slower, and then has the hounds pass the balloons as they go into that first air defense. Two hounds in there, and balloons just basically encircling the whole bottom side of that base. They're able to just work through, take out all of those buildings, and then have everything continue to keep working through the core of the base. Sweeper keeps pushing the balloons back a little bit, but he has the hay spells to go ahead, work through them, has a max hound on that top side in uh, air defense, and then the balloons finally catch up, get in there, take it out, and the pups start working on the cleanup. Uh, he's using some of the battle rams just to kind of take out, get those barbarians working for cleanup, but he still has that hound, um, basically one more still there, has not popped yet. Um, finally pops as the balloons make it over to that final air defense and now he is just working around the base continuing to take out the final point defenses on this one um, pups are working on the cleanup but there's just too many balloons going into that final expo with the pups working on it and they're just going to eventually be able to get it down and then he has the three star in the bag on this one we'll go ahead and speed it up as the cleanup is working but very solid three star coming in from AR Walker um, using those special event spells and troops to go ahead and secure that pretty unique three star. Um, we're going to scroll all the way down to number 23. We have I Rarely Triple coming in. And he's just going to come in and be able to get some of the topside stuff. I believe he was. this was a fresh hit and he was testing to try to see what was in the clan castle. Sends in a few balloons and nothing comes out so he knows at this point that there's going to be a hound in the clan castle and his air raid can pretty much just ignore it as long as his queen and king do not lure that out. But he's going to start on the top side, get that wizard down, create a little bit of funneling and then he's just going to come in um, with a small little kill squad to try to get these air defenses on the top side and he will succeed at that but it has the barb king down tanking, gets the queen in behind and then he's just testing now for traps so that way he can sneak the wall breakers in, open up this top side, ends up getting huge value out of this by taking out the te three Teslas on the top side, couple cannons, and then he's going to get those two air defenses down. <clears throat> Barb King provides tons of tanking for that queen though, and she is able to just get in there and work the whole time taking out the top portion side of this base. Um, just huge value from that small kill squad though. And then he's just going to let the queen continue working, trying to take out some of these additional buildings. And then he starts the Lalu portion of the base, coming in on the top side with a hound going into those backside air defenses, balloons falling in behind. And then once the queen gets in this area and is distracted, he's going to have that skelly spell and a rage to get those balloons and skellies to take out that queen extremely fast. But he has a max hound coming in on the backside to help tank through those air defenses uh, that are side by side as the balloons just basically work through. Starts getting the cleanup on the backside. Still has two hay spells and a heal spell. Gets that down as he approaches the wizard towers. Still has a hound up, mass amounts of balloons. And then he's going to sneak in some balloons on the backside just to distract that wizard tower as his balloons come in to finish off the top side of this base. Uh, but just absolutely demolishes this thing coming in though. Um, very solid hit from him. Uh, was times for this one as the cleanup comes through. <clears throat> Gets that final haste down for the swag though. Um, securing that three star for us. I think our Town Hall 9's were roughly about 55% on the cleanup or on the uh, the hit rate for the Town Hall 9's. So very good um, war for them. 
um, coming in, allowing us to have multiple scouts up top, and then get, like I said, the two 10v10s. Um, anytime you have additional nines coming in, and you get that ability to get those scouts um, very huge on securing the war. But we have WAP coming in for the last attack of the war. He's going to start off with a wizard on the top side, get that easy mortar out there, help make that funnel pretty easily. And then he's just going to come in um, up here where there is a mass amount of point defenses with a couple golems, his heroes, and he's just going to get in here and get huge value out of this kill squad, leaving very little for his hogs on the backside to have to take out. Uh, but at this point, he's got a very nice large wide funnel created. Coming in with some golems, gets the wizards down behind, and they're just going to continue to work. A couple Teslas pop up down in this area, so he's going to be able to get four archer towers, two expos, a Tesla, the queen and the clan castle all out of this area um, just huge value though like i said coming in the bowlers are coming in behind out working they're going to work with the heroes and the golems help take out a lot of the bottom side portion of this base and then once it's kind of secured and there's an easy wedge taken out of this base um, the hogs are going to come in from the top side uh, but he's got the wizard tower kind of farm on the top side with a few point defenses um, the hogs are easily going to be able to get through that area and just only need a single heal. But he's going to get huge value for these hogs as well, just taking out all the splash. Kill squad is still working. That queen's got that ability, um, so she's going to be able to help out. Gets the poison spell down on these skellies, so that way they are not taking out any of his hogs. And then he just has a heal spell on the backside for the last remaining hogs that he has coming in. Sends a few of them in to take out the last point defenses on the bottom side. And at this point, he is on to the cleanup. So that is the three-star in the bag for him. A very big hit coming in from WAP. Um, like I said, though, that is going to wrap up the recap for this week. Um, next week, we do have a bye week, um, I believe, for the holiday um, schedule in the United States. Um, so we will have no recap next weekend if you're looking for it. Um, but stay tuned for the week after that. We will get one coming in. And we have the Archer Outlaws coming up big out of this week. 3-1 and one now moving into the second uh, two-thirds of the season. So looking to continue that going. Um, but if you guys have questions, comments about any of the replays, or if you want to see anything particular, feel free to leave them in the comments section. And I will try to get back to you guys with anything I can. But until next time, guys, this is Trunks helping you stay over 9,000.